for me, and I, I think um, for some of my classmates too, I think some of the pests and diseases, if you haven't seen them before, if you haven't been actively involved with them professionally, I just found it really tough to remember all the details, all the all the causes, you know, all of the all of the effects, all of the signals in the vines, you know, because for each of those, there could be something, you know, from five to maybe even 10 separate little items that are each worth a point that they're looking for. And um, if you don't have experience with it in the real world, I found those things um, really tough to remember. Um, yeah. And so I did integrate some of my, uh, yeah, some of my memory palace tricks for a few of those. Yeah, very cool. And I'm trying to remember, um, maybe one of you guys remember the name. If, if, if you're hearing this term memory palace and you're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> um, there's, there's a book, um, there's a book, what's it called? I can't remember. Uh, but it, basically the idea is kind of like creating um, like mnemonics for yourself or um, basically shortcuts to memorize things that are, you know, like, um, you know, you memorize a saying or something, and then that that actually helps you remember the, you know, the 10 crews of Beaujolais or, you know, whatever, something like that. Um, you know, different kind of tricks uh, for getting to, to memorize things. And so um, that's, it's a, it's a book about a guy who decided he wanted to start um, entering like memory competitions where, you know, people have to memorize the order of cards in a deck or memorize a random string of numbers or something like that. And so if you Google the term memory palace, um, you'll probably find some articles and things about um, techniques like that, that, you know, maybe help remember some of these more complicated uh, types of things. But anyway, I would say, I and this is like, maybe your mileage may vary with this. Um, so take this with a grain of salt, but I actually found for the topics for me that were hardest to remember, I actually went more out of scope of the text. So the WSET text is excellent in that it's very concise. It is very organized, but it's also quite dry and the language is repetitive. And so if you don't have experience with something in context for it, it can actually sometimes be hard to retain all those little details. So if you're having a lot of trouble with a certain topic like pests or diseases, um, get on YouTube, get on Guild Song, watch some videos about what it looks like, hear some winemakers talking about it. I feel like going out of the scope of the text for certain things actually did help me really to kind of get the bigger picture and then retain some of those details.